What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right guys, this is a short video, but nonetheless pretty cool. You guys as always can be the judge of this. All right, seen something pretty weird. This goes back to Sol 520, I think it is. Let's have a look. And you can see it at the top, Moz Curiosity Rover, Sol 520 or 520. Right, nav cam, cameras, nav cams. And of course you get the downloads right here, original image, JPEG, which is not really the best. TIFF are always better. But uh, this is what we got. And the description says this image was taken by Navcam, right B, on board NASA's Mars Rover Curiosity on Sol 520, and it was on January 22nd, 2014. So it's quite an old photo. And, of course, image credit goes to NASA, JPL, and Caltech. Caltech making uh, uh, basically the cameras. And I believe they made the large high-rise um, uh, telescope as well on the uh, MRO, the, uh, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, right? All right, so this is the photo we're going to look at. We can just go to the link, and you can just zoom in it right here. The area I'm, I'm questioning is right here. This is pretty cool, because when I looked at this photo, I said, what is this right here? Do you see the, Do you see this already right here, the way it's shaped, coming up and going back down? It's got a little shadow in the back of it. You might be saying, well, man, I'm not seeing much of anything. And that's the whole purpose, because NASA does that. They black out photos or make them real dark, so that you can't really see them, right? A um, couple of little things that were in here, too. Something white right there. Almost looks like it has almost a 90-degree angle kind of thing. With something else over here, you'll see what I mean, too. And something smaller uh, right here. It, looks like, it almost looks like half of a cylindrical object, although I'm not sure what it is. But I'll let you guys see it, and you guys can always let me know what you think, right? All right, so let's jump back out of that. Now, I'm going to take this into Photoshop. And you can see right here, this was the original size. Let's blow it up for you guys. Now we can really zoom into this without it really breaking up too badly, right? So, here you go. Now you can see this object right here. And you can see what looks like this. It's got this weird overhang or not overhang. But it almost looks like a mouth feature. You'll see what I'm saying in a minute. This is pretty weird. Okay, so let's do this. Let's back out a little bit. Okay. And again, look how dark this thing is. This, but that's the MO. That's what they like to do. That's just one of their tricks they do to hide anything they don't want you to see, right? So let's go ahead and brighten this up a little bit and see what we get. Okay, now let's zoom back into it. Now, you guys see what I mean? What is that right here? It looks like it's doing this here, coming back down. This is the mouth kind of feature. Going down like this, coming back down. Goes like this. It goes up like this. You can see it goes up like this here. Goes. You can see the back of it going down like this, and then down like that. At least that's the way it appears. Looks like it's got this weird brow type thing, and it looks like it has this eye, but it also has this weird, like, almost like nostril feature, if you will. And you'll see this. I kind of botched as far as drawing it, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. Let's go ahead and brighten this up a little bit more. Okay. Starting to see a little bit better. Right there. And the weird thing about it is, guys, I want you also to take note of the objects in the bottom here. There's actually what looks like this piece right here going like this. Completely round. Has something sticking out of the center of it. And it has what looks like little little legs coming out of it. You'll see that in a minute. Because I'm going to really dock in this. And all you're going to see is these objects right here. There's another one right here. It's almost sy symmetrical because you can see where it goes like this. Goes like this. Comes back. Goes up and over. And goes back down like this. And it has... Two pieces. Can you see that? Well, a little too much, but you get the idea right there. And right here. And you get this, what looks like a straight piece going on behind it. But anyway, again, let's keep going with this. This is pretty cool. All right, so let's really brighten this thing up and see what we can find. See if it looks like it, if anything of any value. Okay, so now I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, whoa, what could this possibly be? Now, when I told you about this, I said it looks like this weird mouth kind of thing going like this. And you can see it coming down, going like this here, goes like this, comes back in, has this piece. And you can see where it kind of does this here. It kind of like goes up, has this piece here. It looks like it has this weird brow type thing, and then it has what looks like an eye. At least that's the way it looked like to me. But now take a better, closer look at that. It almost looks like it has something round, and it's sticking out of something like this. It's got like this, and it's a round piece at the bottom. 
So is this thing mechanical? Is it a stone? What is this object that's on this Martian surface? What do you guys think that is? So now, this is what I got. And all I do is I took the burn tool and just went around the edges. This way you can see the, the edge what I'm talking about. And then, it, and then the rest of the photo I didn't touch because you can see there's not a whole lot of difference other than me just going like this here. There's really not a whole lot of difference. I just did the edges. But that's what this thing looks like. But then, like I said, it almost looked like this round piece. And then kind of coming down like this here. And then it looked like I had a round base, like this thing was coming out of this hole. So I don't know what that is. Can you guys tell me what this thing is? It looks like some kind of weird head statue. Uh, this weird statue or some kind of mechanical thing. What could it possibly be? All right. Let me show you the other thing I was telling you about here. I'm going to go back to the brighter photo. And I was telling you about this object here earlier. It looks like it does this here. Goes straight across. Comes back down. Has what look like these small round features, right? But then I looked again. I said, wait a minute. This white area goes all the way to here. Looks like it's got this kind of weird piece going on here. What the hell is this thing? It also has something right here on the left-hand side of it. Kind of coming down. Right? But it actually goes a little deeper than that. You can just see it there, and they just kind of chopped it right here. You see that? Right there. But whatever these things are, see yeah. that? I'm not sure what to make of that, guys, but whatever that thing is, that's pretty weird. I mean, I think there's a lot of things that are buried in these rocks, and it's now being uncovered, or it's just been there for thousands of years or man i don't even think it's been quite that i think it's been i'm talking about just very recent up to x amount of 70 years 80 years ago the reason why i come up with that is because like i said dr brandenburg when he talked about two large explosions in the martian atmosphere this was back in 1941 is this what killed the martian civilization it could very well be kind of weird right you got this weird time frame you know 1941 two major explosions in the in mid-air killing off everything, probably wiping out the whole area. And then you've got these this debris and things that look like statues. You guys know me. I don't usually do anything that's got to do with statues. I mean, I just, you know, I just don't. Um, but my buddy uh, Joe, Joe Art Alien TV, uh, he always does, you know, videos that has everything from statues, like, like heads like this here, maybe bust of statues, uh, stuff like that. And he just finds all kinds of crazy things with these wild details in these things. So... Um, is it possible that's what that is? No way to vet it. It kind of looks like that. Uh, although I hate using the word, it could be just nothing more than a pareidolia thing. But to me, that's shaped in a way that doesn't look natural. And it just happens to be just standing there. Because again, look at, you can still see that object's right there. But, you know what I mean? And this is what I was talking about, that area just below it. See how like these objects here, right there, goes like this here. Goes across, stops right there. There's actually another leg right there. You just can't see. It's kind of faint. But anyway, it does this. Goes off in the back. Comes back like this. Look at this object right here. See this? And this other object right here. Whatever these things are, it's hard to tell what these things are, but they are, in the fact, in the photo. And let's see. Let's go down to this other object I was telling you about. So we can find it. I think I went too far. No, I didn't. Should be right over here. This object here, right there. Now, to me, it looks like some kind of this weird straight line. Goes up like this and over like an arched item. And then you can see the back of it does this. Goes down like this. I'm not sure what to make of that. It looks like something that's been placed there. Or, again, it just looks like a pile of wreckage, man. That's the only thing I can think of. Which is crazy. These these mountains back here, they're not mountains. I mean, look at this. Check this out. Look how just unnatural that looks, guys. Come on. This is what I find interesting. Let's zoom into this pot over here. I want you guys to see this. It's very faint, but I want you guys to see this. Right here, you can see what looks like this round circle with a circle inside. This goes across here. Comes out like this. Looks like it connects like this. 
But look carefully. You can see what looks like this weird line right here going just like this. Coming down. Going like this. Has what looks like this darker area here. This one going like this here. So it's crazy how it does this here. Goes around like this. Is it possible this is some kind of petroglyph or some kind of drawing like we have in the Nazca lines and stuff like that? Very good possibility, right? There's other objects down here. You can see something round down here. See that? Pretty crazy right there. Now watch what happens when we darken this up. First, I'm going to show you this here. It lightened up. And I'm going to show you that again right there. Now, let's darken these up, and this is what I this is what I got out of this. Now, I don't really care too much about the rest of this because basically it is, you know, a bunch of noise and a lot of stuff has been blocked. Um, what I find really interesting is that all of these blurred out areas purposely blurred. Check this out. These areas right here. I don't care about the regular texture, texture of the photo. This is probably nothing more than texture of it because it's, it's uh, manipulation. But check this out. Look at the blur spots purposely put in this. See them? I find that a little interesting because when I went over with the burn tool, these blur spots really popped. That's how you can tell this stuff is just, it's crap. But this here, like I said, I find that pretty interesting how that's there. What it is, I couldn't tell you. Maybe this area is not as big as you think it is. And like I said, this has been put on here to make it look like a mountain. And then, of course, you got your foreground. But it's not as big as you think it is. Maybe these objects are no bigger than the objects that are in front, but they make it look like that, like it's a mountain. How do we know? It wouldn't surprise me with the tricks that they do, right? I don't know. You guys be the, the judge, man. Let me know. I mean, even back here. Check this out. You can see there's objects in the back here. You can see something going like this here. Just these weird lines in the back. Anyway, guys, I'm going to show you this one more time. And I'm going to jump on out of here. And again, I can show it to you just right there. Right there. I'm just going to go ahead and bring it up. Bring it a little brighter. Brightened it up. As usual, you guys be the judge. Let me know what you guys are seeing in this. Is is it some kind of weird statue? Which wouldn't surprise me because, again, there's a lot of researchers have seen a lot of these same things. What look like small statues of heads, uh, the bust of statues, all kinds of crazy things. And it's hard to say, well, it, it, it's not. It could never be something like that when so many people are finding these, right? But again, you guys comment, throw your thoughts down below, man. Uh, make sure you like and please share the video. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. Anyway, guys, got some more moon as well as more Mars. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, have yourself a good one and I'll see you on the flip side.